Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Right, today we've got another retro review for you. Now, this one, I've had this tank for a good two years plus. Used to be my go-to tank for a, almost a year, I would say. It's from Matofo and it's called the Troll RTA. Here it is. I've got the black version here, 24mm in diameter. We've got it sitting on top of this Aspire Skystar mod. And yes, like I say, this used to be a cracking tank, so I thought I'd better dig it out and see how it would compare with today's atomizers. Now, I've got the Glas V2, which is my favourite uh, dual core atty of today, and we're going to do a little taste comparison test later on. But first, we're going to go down low, have a good look around this tank, throw a little build in it today, of course. And then we'll come back up top and I'll give you my findings. Okay, see you down low in a bit. Right down at the table, we've got the Troll RTA from Watofo. So this one's 24 millimeters in diameter by 42 in height. And this is a bespoke top cap drip tip. So let's just put it up against some other ones that I've got. We've got the Bravo, which is also by Watofo. We've got the Zeus, uh, Zeus Dual Core, I should say, by Geek Vape. We've got the Troll there. Let's just put that on the end there. We've also got the Kylin V2 by Vandy Vape. And we have the Solomon V3 by uh, Kays. So as you can see there, it is sh shorter than all of these other Dual Core RTAs. And this is the most recent one going back that way chronologically. And the Troll RTA, I believe I purchased it in think it was uh i'm not sure if it's the end of 16 into 2017 so it's quite an old particular tank bravo was in 2017 this is the beginning of uh, 18 the zeus jewel kylin v2 the uh, latter end of 2018 and the solomon v3 is a recent one in 2019 troll rta so here it is then so as i alluded to we have this one piece top cap but uh, it is basically like an 810 fit in drip tip anyway, but it's all one piece, so it's nice and comfortable to use. We've got stainless steel threading, which goes on to the threading of the chimney section. Super generous size filling port, so you can just blur your juice in, no problems at all. We've got a, that's the airflow slot. Seems to be about 10 millimeters or so. My calipers are still buggered, so I can't measure it for you. So just screws on, just go do it one way and then the other, and you should find the threads no problems at all. So you do get a few sets of O-rings with this. Again, I haven't got the box, but um, I think it comes with red ones and uh, black ones as well. So on the chimney, you see we have got uh, the troll engraved in there. On the bottom, we've got the Troll RTA, Watofo's old logo and the website address, usual markings, gold-plated positive pin with the peak insulator that does surround. And we have got uh, not a bad amount of protrusion, protrusion, so in my opinion, you could use this one on a hybrid mechanical device safely. But of course, always ensure that it's protruding by at least a, a millimeter and use at your own risk. So let's have a look at this. The glass piece does just pull off like that. The troll engraving, nice and smooth, no rough edges on there. Look inside there. Got a little bit of banking going on there, which does a sip with the flavour. It's not uh, not so much rounded doming uh, going on, but um, we definitely got a bit of banking, which uh, directs the airflow into the, the main uh, chimney piece there. So the glass just goes on like that. Right, we've got it on the Dilly Gaff Atty Stand. As ever, piston, aluminium piston Atty Stands. You can purchase them on Facebook if you're interested. Forgot to say we have got bottom airflow with this as well. So it is adjustable and we have stoppers on both sides. We have got a little bit of moisture there where I've cleaned it recently. So it goes all the way around, stops in that position. And what you adjust on one will obviously be the same on the other side. So another O-ring around here to help make the seal. We've got a raised GTA style deck. So area filling ports, uh, the cotton ports I should say. So we've got four. One, two, three, four. This is the airflow hole. So the airflow comes in through the bottom there. Comes out uh, in these two tubes here. Much like the 
Kennedy uh, uh, RTA, RDA, I should say. And we have got this uh, wall shaped uh, build post. So we have a big, uh, beefy peak insulator in the middle, which separates the positive to the negative. So much like the velocity style of build, you'll have one leg down there, one on the top here, and on the other side, you'd have one there and one there if you spin it over because we've got dual core it'll be mounted vert uh, horizontally above these airflow slots now we have got grub screws on here uh hextile screws i think i put my own ones in because i think it came with um crappy phillips ones originally but like i say i haven't got the box anymore but um yeah so when the only thing is these screws come in from the side so if you've got like your flats are like a, a complex cause it will twist your legs so it is a good idea to like bend them beforehand and I'll show you that in a minute when we go to do the build so let's do that now right so like I said if you're using like flat wire you want to try and get your your leads so that they're like facing uh, vertically like that hold it in your hand like this get yourself a pair of pliers and about halfway up or just a bit more just twist it round 90 degrees like that I've just loosened all the post screws off there so we've got nice generous size holes on this one so you can fit some quite beefy cores in here if you wanted to but one thing you need to be wary of when you're dry burning you don't want to get the core too close to that peak insulator because there were reports at the time when these first came out of people who had melting insulators. I had never had, had any drop troubles though because just make sure you're not doing it at a thousand watts and just be sensible basically. Just push it over the airflow slots, push it in a little bit because you can always put it out afterwards, and then get your hextile Allen key or screw screwdriver. Right, you could use the coily tool and do it beforehand, but I just find it a little bit easier to do on cam like this and just snip your legs afterwards. Right, one thing to watch out for if you aren't using the coily tool is when you get to this position here to try and snip that last leg, the other core's interfering. Now, you could lift that coil up a little bit or you can just like bend this wire around here and just make sure you don't snip the other core when you're snipping. There you go. That's why the coily tool was such a, a good invention because you pre-cut your leg length so you didn't have this problem. I just found it, but this particular build deck, it's um, easier just to have the longer legs I found. Right, we got it on the Aspire Mod the Sky Star 0.13 ohm. So what I do now is get put this actual top cap on to make sure none of those cores are touching the outside of the chimney check the resistance again so we're on 0.13 so i'm happy we haven't got a hard short of it touching the chimney section so that's all very good so it's just a case of pulsing the cores now and bedding the cores in You don't have to be too finicky with the wicking with this you just shove it in the holes and it uh, wicks up a tree so just make sure that none of the uh, cotton is touching the uh, uh, airflow holes there because you will get it leak out of those airflow holes otherwise so just get your tweezers around the edges And that's basically it, get the top cap back on. So nice big, easy to fill this one, just squeeze it in as hard as you can. No problems at all, fit up on both sides if you want. There you go, all the way to there. 
top cap back on. And there you have it. That is the Troll RTA cord and wicked up. So let's go back up top and I'll tell you what I think about it. Back up top with the Troll RTA. What do I think of this little bad boy then? Well, let's go on to build quality and fit and finish because that's what we normally start with. This one is over two years old and it's still in pretty mint condition. I think I might have dropped it once. There might be a little nick on the top cap, which is a little bit of a shame because you can't put your own drip tips on, which brings me on to my first little con for this one. It is the one piece top cap, but uh, I've got no dramas with it because it is a nice 810 fit and it's a very comfortable size, but you just can't put on any wider or narrower tips on it. So a little bit of a con, which I found at the time, but it has got nice stainless steel threads that go onto the stainless steel chimney threads. So that is definitely a pro and they haven't worn out at all in all of this time. Now the threads on here are really good on the Trial RTA as well. The O-ring tolerances are very nice. The airflow control ring, you can spin it quite freely on the mod, but we've got a nice bit of resistance to it as well. So all in all, this one is kept up uh, very nicely in all the time that I've had it. we got the Troll uh, branding on the chimney, but it's in stainless, so it looks quite nice. It's not in your face or anything like that. And I think this is quite a good looker for an RCA, this one. It's... Um, Quite a nice design, simplistic but effective, and it's uh, quite a short little latty as well. If we put it up against the Glass V2, you'll see what I mean, but this one is a bit of a beast, and it's a 31mm diameter tank. But the review can be found on the channel if you want to check out the Glass V2 by Steam Crave already. So, yeah, fit and finish build quality is very good with this one, but Tofo have always knocks them out of the park and the troll is no exception it's just standing to the uh, stead of time uh, it's still no paintworks flaked off or anything like that and i just think it's very well built right the build deck though on this one this brings me on to my second con as you've probably seen down below we got the screws coming in from the side. It's a velocity style deck. And you've got the peak insulator going on in the middle. In fact, there's a couple of cons of this one. Uh, if you are going to pulse your calls really uh, high, high wattage, and you do it for a long period of time, and you've got them too close to the insulator, there is a danger that you will melt the insulator. And if you go back in time and watch a load of reviews, you'll probably see people that have done it. Now, I haven't managed to do it in all the time I've had it because I just do it at sensible wattage, just bed the cord in. There's no need to dry burn it uh, without any liquid in that high. So it's not really a con, it's just something to be pointed out. Uh, don't get the cores too close and don't pulse them too high. But like I said, the, the screws are coming in from the side, which means if you're using complex cores, which are basically flat wire, when you sc screw the screw in, it's going to twist it around like that. Now, what I did down below, I dropped me pliers and just twisted it uh, beforehand, which makes it a little bit easier. But um, that was the bit of a con at the time with this particular RTA, because these days you tend to have the screws coming from the top, so it traps the... Um, the leads uh, flat on so it doesn't twist them but uh, yeah that is just one little niggle with this one but it's not really a major issue but it's something to be pointed out but anyway enough of me rabbiting let's have a little toot we've got a 100 watts 0.15 build and uh, yeah airflow fully open we'll give you an airflow rating in a minute here we go Right, you see by the airflow slots, they're not particularly that wide and they're not that uh, high as well. So there is a little bit of restriction. This is no more than a 7.5 to 8 out of 10, with 10 being the widest open for a super airy vape and one being a super tight vape. Uh, for this one, it's about 7.5 to 8 out of 10 with it wide open. Right, that was at 100, 100 watts. I don't like normally going that um, any higher, to be honest, with a, a tank like this, but we'll put it up to 120 just to see if it can handle it. Here we go. No troubles at all. Getting really good flavour out of it. Um, and the airflow 
is nice and smooth on here it's uh, not particularly loud but of course when you're rocking it 120 watts it's going to be louder than if you're doing it a bit um, a more sensible wattage but anyway what we do is now we're going to put it down to about uh, what should we have it 80 watts and restrict that airflow to about halfway here we go Nice and smooth silk. Like I say, it can handle the wattage though. And we put it down to about a quarter at 65 or 64 watts. Here we go. Just here, there, we're getting a bit of a, a bit of a high high pitched sort of whistle to it. But as ever, I think that's a little bit too restrictive for this sort of tank. I'll have about a third closed off normally and like I said it can handle the wattage 85 90 watts uh, gives me the best flavor so put it back up to about 85 watts and we'll give you the flavor rating out of 10. Nice cloud produ production with this one. It's not the cloudiest uh, tank you'll ever get, but that's because it's got a bit of restriction to it. But that flavour, this one is still uh, keeping up with the others, in my opinion. This is a good 8.5 out of 10, uh, I would give this. It's uh, This beats a lot of the um, newer tanks that are c coming out. It's, uh, yeah, really good flavour still. But what we're going to do is have a go on the Glass V2, just to see what the difference is i've got this one at 95 watts because it does tend to need a bit more wattage and we have restricted that airflow down a little bit here we go open up the airflow slightly actually put it out to 100 Got the same calls in here as well. It is awesome the flavour out of that. To be honest though, that troll isn't far behind. Now I gave the flavour rating for this one a good 99.5 out of 10 on my video. And it is slightly better, but to be honest, this is a, a cracking tank, this uh, troll is. It really is, given an awesome flavour still. Because you can, you can put a higher own build in this one and put uh, the wattage down to 60, 65 watts and you're getting a, a, a really good uh, flavour out of it as well. You don't have to put big aliens like I've got in here. And that's the good thing with the troll. It's a versatile little tank it is. But... Um, all in all, I think it's definitely keeping up with the, the pack this one is. Uh, like I say, it's a good 8.5, even maybe a 9 out of 10 for flavour I would give this one. And to be honest, I think I'm going to start using it again, keep it in a, a rotation. But it definitely gets a big thumbs up from me. So Watofo, nice job guys. It's still holding, holding up very well indeed right so that's the end of the review guys if you did enjoy it please give it a little thumbs up as ever if you're new to the channel you like what you see get rid of some of these clouds in there <laughs> give it a little subscribe it'd be much appreciated guys and uh, hit the little bell, no, bell notification you'll be notified of all my latest videos right i've got a little website going as well we've got blogs we've got galleries we've got uh, all my videos on there the playlist for the different genres please check it out it's mf8.co.uk and you can also find me on facebook instagram and twitter so until next time guys thanks very much for watching and i'll see you again very soon okay cheers <laughs>